So my go-to when I left the Ludington area and headed down toward Muskegon, Michigan was for Cano's on the lakeshore. Best thin crust pizza around. My go-to was the cheese and sausage. It's so old school, they don't even take credit cards, cash only. When I drive through Bowling Green, I stop at a local place called Mr. Spots. When you go there, you have to get their original Philly. It is to die for. And when I get to head down to Columbus for the state playoffs, Raising Cane's is always a must. I mean, you got to get the chicken tenders, some of the sauce, and then the garlic toast. Those are my two must-haves when I'm getting ready for the playoffs and heading down to cover a game. So my favorite stop was not so much on a road trip, but I broadcast a lot of college and high school games in Columbia, Missouri, and Booch's Burgers was the hands down best stop. Not a slider, not a burger, just the perfect place in between. A perfect flavor, cash only, like taking a step back in time, awesome. As someone who travels throughout the Mountain West Conference, San Jose has a sneaky, really good food spot, which as we know as broadcasters, being in walking distance of a hotel, absolutely key. Torinas Brazilian Steakhouse, which is right in downtown San Jose. I love Brazilian steakhouses, the all-you-can-eat elements, them sending you the food throughout the different tables that you're at. I love the style of it. Torinas in San Jose, I recommend it. Hey, this is Benjamin Ray with the University of North Alabama. Anytime I go on the road, I like to get some barbecue for my pregame meal. Last year, the UNA Lions Sports Network traveled to Kennesaw, Georgia to take on Kennesaw State. We stopped just north of town in Cartersville, Georgia to eat at Fire It Up Barbecue. It was outstanding. I got a plate of beef brisket, my personal favorite, some pulled pork as well. My side was some mac and cheese. I can still taste it. We have a motto, eat good, broadcast good. Hi, James Verrett here, and when I'm on the road covering games, if I'm in Columbus, Georgia, I always make sure I stop by Country Barbecue. Why? Because before or after a game, you always need a little comfort food. And of course, during the game, I like Patty LaBelle's Patty Pies, the small sweet potato brand. It's been a while, but usually when I'm doing a game near Salina, Kansas, I like to stop at the Olive Garden and order the Shrimp Linguini. It's great after a long day of play-by-play, -play, whether it's a baseball game or a basketball game, and it's always good and a great pick-me-up for my trips home. Hi, this is Tommy Wood in Lubbock, Texas, and every time I'm in Abilene, I try to go by Miguel's. They call it Mex-Tex rather than Tex-Mex. It's a little bit more authentic Mexican than what you would normally find in West Texas, but it is really good. Every time I go, I get the cheese enchiladas, but anybody I've ever taken has loved what they've gotten regardless of what their order has been. So anytime I'm in the Bay Area for football or anything, my must stop is La Victoria's Taqueria. They've got a couple locations, one of them very close to San Jose State University. Uh, I get the super burrito, no sour cream, but whatever you get, make sure you get orange sauce.